Hello guys, a bit late, but I do want to uh, get this done before I go to sleep, so um, tomorrow we're going to have the hardest, so-called hardest, uh, strike event yet. It's going to be a one-step Dilorakyrus and Dilorannosaurus, level 30. Um, it's really hard, if you don't cheese it. So um, <laughs> here's how we're going to do it. So uh, Dilorannosaurus at... Level 30 has 5.1k health, and Dollar Kyrus has 4. Point, uh, almost 4.2k health. So the problem with this strike event is both of these two deal a lot of damage. Um, they're all very fast, and they have uh, really good moves. Here is a way that you're going to beat it with relatively low level dinos. Um, it, I'm not sure if it works without one legendary because, um, the one legendary I'm going to use is Spontosuchus. It could be at level 16, which is entry level Spontosuchus. Mm, it might work with Spyro Gen 2, but it, that requires a bit of luck and I'll explain that later. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use Sucatator, Spontosuchus, um, what else? Dimorphodon and Sukumimus. So, assuming Dialorano comes out first. And this strategy only works if Dialorano or Dialorakaris, whoever comes out first, does not use Rampage on Run on turn 2. Which is a 1, 2, 3, 4, or Rampage on Run and Impact and Run. So that's a uh, 1 in 4 chance to, to use that move. Assuming they don't actually have it planned just to use Rampage Run or Impact and Run a turn two. So how he, here's how we go about it. So assuming if they uh, start with Dilaranosaurus, then we start with um, Sucatator. No, this is Spino Gen two. Uh, let me find a Sucatator. Gripalith. I think I have Sucatator up. It's either Sucatator or something else. Yeah, yeah, here's Sucatator. So, Sucatator at, let's say, level, I don't know, level 13, level 10, uh, level 11. So, it starts out at level 6. Um, level 6 Sucatator probably not going to work because Dilorano on turn 1 does 2.1k damage. And you don't want that. So, uh, over here. Uh, you want a Sucatator that is at least what, 10 or 11? Uh, 2.1, what? Oh, 1, 8. Okay, you want a Sucatator at level 11 at least. And so that's going to take a hit from Dalaranosaurus. It's going to take a Dalaranos, uh distracting impact and still live. And then you hit it back with a, a lethal wound. So that does 33% of the target's max HP. Uh, for three turns and then assuming it doesn't swap out the next turn you swap in uh, you swap in uh, Dimorphodon which Dimorphodon or Sukumimus doesn't matter which um, and they come in and do another 25% of their health so that's what 66% plus another 25% um, how much is that 66 plus 25 it's too late for me to do mental math so 91 percent it's going to do 91 percent of their health so um it should be down to let's see nine percent of their health uh five one oh six five one oh six times 0. 0.09 so that it should be down to 460 health and then can't find it where is it Oh, uh, uh, and then um, the problem is the 459. So, you know, you're going to lethal wound it, swap in, um, what's his face? Dar, no, not Darwin, uh, Dimorphodon. And this is assuming it doesn't run on turn two. And lower it down to 459 uh, HP. It's going to kill your Dimorphodon. And then here's where Spontosuchus comes in. And this is why I use Spontosuchus instead of... Uh, Spino Gen 2. Because it still has 460 HP left, you need to take it out before it runs. 
and Lethal Wound does 1 times damage, which at level 11 for a Sucatator is 486, which is enough to take it out, but if it, uses, if it uses Distracting on turn 1, you don't have enough damage. So, you know, that's going to have your damage. So you're just going to do, like, 243 damage instead. And that's not enough. So you have to throw in a uh, Spine to Sucus, which is 129 speed. And then hit it with a Critical Impact or Strike. Whichever, it doesn't matter. Um, just one of those. And then that takes Stylorhinosaurus out before it could run on turn 3. And then uh, your Spine to Sucus, which is, you know, at full health. Uh, 129 speed. Uh, you don't have to worry too much because Dylorokyrus on turn 1 only has a Strike. Only has either Spirity Strike or Distracting Strike, only does 1,763 damage, which Spinosuchus, O-P-Q-R-S, Spino Spinosuchus, I forgot about Spinosuchus when uh, prepping the video. Um, at, let's see, level 16, it has way more damage or, or way more HP than that, so as long as you don't get crit by 5% crit, you should be fine. And then you lethal wound it, so that's one turn of DOT, and then you swap in uh, Di uh, Dimorphodon or, or Sukumimus, whichever you didn't, whichever one's still alive. You swap in that, that's going to do another um, decent amount of damage to uh, your the, the Dialor Kyrus. Then, uh, you know, that's another 90% of its HP gone, or uh, 91 or, yeah, yeah, no, an, another 91% of its HP gone. And Spondosuchus also did some damage. So all you need to do is wait one more, survive one more turn before Dalarkyrus dies to the bleed. And here's where you swap back in a Sucatator. You swap back in Sucatator, use Instant Cripple. Hopefully it doesn't Superity Strike, because as long as it doesn't Superity Strike, you should be good. Um, Dalarkyrus still has Rampage and Run available, so... It very likely could use Rampage and... It very, very likely is going to use Rampage and Run. Hit you with a Rampage. And then your Sucatator survives that hit. And then last turn, Tick Tock. Bleed takes down Dialer Kyrus. So that's how to do uh, this strike event. Um, with, I would say, really minimal dinos. You know, two commons, a legendary, and an epic. Or no, no. It's a rare. It's a rare. I, I keep on getting Sucatator and Spinotail Raptor mixed up. And here's how you do it without a Legendary. So if you want to go with Spino Gen 2, the only issue with Spino Gen 2 is you cannot have um, Dylorhanosaurus or Dylorchiris, whichever one you're facing first, that you're going to you know uh, deal with first. You can't have them use Distracting on you. They very likely will use Distracting on you. But if they don't use Distracting on you, you should be good at level... Let's see. You should be good at uh, creation level. So creation level is level 11. That's, you know, the level it comes out at. That's assuming they don't use Distracting on turn 1. If that's... Obviously, it means they have to use Superiority Strike on turn 1, which I highly doubt it's going to do. So, it could happen. You could beat it with a Spino Gen 2, but it's highly unlikely. So, yeah. So, this is how you beat it with a really, I guess, not as hard to obtain dinos. Uh, we just had the Capro event yesterday, so hopefully you guys got... Um, your Spine to Sucuses or levels on your Spine to Sucus. It's a really great dino at the moment. Um, it can almost 1v1 every dino in the game. I think the only dino that it doesn't have a chance to beat is, I think, Erladom because of immunity and um, 129 speed with speed up strike. But yeah, a Spine to Sucus is, is a great dino. You probably have to use that to beat the strike. Um, if you don't go with Spinal Gen 2, you're probably not going to beat it still. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you get lucky there. 
and they use Superior Strike on turn 1, which is not likely to happen at all. But uh, anyways, um, I record these, pre-record these um, the night before, just in case I sleep in and, you know, wake up in the afternoon and then, like, you guys already did your attempts and that would be weird. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Just a really quick um, uh, strike event guide here. And good luck tomorrow. There are, I mean, there are other ways to do it, but like other ways to do it is very hard. Even if you have a full team of uniques, this event is very hard as well. Even if you're using Uteranix, Uteranix doesn't really work here. Look, Uteranix doesn't work here. Uh, Trichosaurus doesn't work well. Indoraptor doesn't work well. What else? Stegodius doesn't work well. This is a very, very hard event. So, ho hopefully, uh, we are lucky enough that they don't run on turn two. And um, we will be able to take them out. <laughs> okay. Uh, good luck tomorrow.